Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Studio Talk. In today's episode, I am going to unbox a box that arrived yesterday from California. My very good friend and quilter buddy, uh, Barbara, sent me a box full of quilts and I'm anxious and excited to see what she has in there. So come along with me and let's see what Barbara sent. Here's the box and I wanted you to see what's written on it. It's been recycled. Um, <clears throat> Barbara and I share uh, a philosophy of recycling. She has, uh, look at that, this is great. Wonderful things to remind ourselves. Maybe after I take out the take out the quilts, I will keep the box just as a reminder. Ha, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, like some of my other friends, Barbara and I have exchanged fabrics through the years. Uh, we've collaborated on a number of quilts together. Um, I met Barbara online in about 2004, and <clears throat> we've been friends ever since. So let's see what's inside this great box. Okay, you can see it's full and heavy. I think that Barbara sent quilts that were already finished, so um, yay on that. All right, I'm going to open up the plastic bag and pull them out. On top of being a fabulous scrap quilter, Barbara is also a prolific knitter, and I see something knit in here, so let's see. Cute little card that says, just for you. Yay! 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 How, how cool, huh? In my colors, obviously. So... Let me put this on and I'll model it for you. Yay, thank you, Barbara. Okay, for the cold Houston days, I can wear this scarf shawl as a head topper. It is wool, set on the tag, so um, that would be great. Or, of course, I can wear it down around my neck. Or I could just wear it as a shawl. There we go. As a shawl. Nice, very nice. Very soft, pretty colors, and great little stitch pattern. I was, uh, Barbara and I were both in a, a national show in Washington, D.C. Seven, eight years ago it was called Sacred Threads and <clears throat> we both had a piece in there and so we met in Washington DC for the show and then we went uh, to various sites around DC as tourists and had, had a great time but one of the things that stays with me forever about that trip was Barbara was watching TV, no, we were talking. She was talking, she was um, looking at me, giving me full attention, and just knitting like crazy. I mean, the, the stitches were just flying off of those um, needles, and I thought, wow, that, that's a person who can knit. So she's, she's always been high on my list of favorite knitters and favorite quilters and favorite friends. Here's the first quilt that I pulled out, and I already recognize this uh, gold fabric right here as one that I had or, you know, we, we've exchanged so much fabric over the years that it's kind of hard to tell if I had this or if she had this and sent it to me, or if other quilts that she has made have also had that fabric and I remember it, but I definitely remember this fabric right here, this gold fabric. Um, anyway, this is a cute one. I'm, I made a little makeshift clothesline. 
I'm in my front studio room, my uh, little sitting room, and these are draperies that I made, um, raw edge draperies that I made when I first moved back uh, into my little house. And so I thought I would put up this little clothesline so that we can see the quilts in full. So let me get this up on the line and then we'll talk. When I said makeshift clothesline, I wasn't joking. Um, wow. Okay, here's, <laughs> there we go, there's some light. Okay, here's Barbara's quilt, and it's a cute little animal print panel. You know, I love little animals. I was um, goo goo over those frogs that Deborah sent in her quilt unboxing. These are cute. These are cute animals too. And pretty, pretty little print that's on the pant. This is. Oh no, it's sewn. Okay, great. So this is a, this is a pan. This is a piece that Barbara added in, and then these little panels. Very cute. Very cute. A little child should love that, and has a gold back fabric backing fabric and I recognize the solid gold not solid but the mostly gold piece too so yay very fun very cute and nice and large so this will be wonderful here's a little cute set of ladybugs all right let's see what the next quilt is Okay, this one looks like it's going to be a great kid's quilt. Let me pull it out and we'll get it up on the wall. This is a fun little animal going back to school sports themed um, quilt. Dogs and cats and rabbits and no, oh, maybe all dogs and cats. Cute. Some little school symbols and sports. How fun. These are great. This style of quilt's great because it, in my estimation, it always looks a little bit more like a boy's quilt. And we can make tons of girls' quilts. They're very easy to make, but coming up with things for boys, a little more difficult. Since I had two boys, I clearly understand that. All the girls had little ruffly. Um, <laughs> I like the words here. Girl, hat, note, sun, worm. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, shoot. And then this is this is a really cozy quilt because uh, Barb used a piece of, of uh, fleece on the back, little porcupines, hedgehogs, oh, hedgehogs, not porcupines, hedgehogs. So nice, good size. Um, so what so what age do you think elementary age child would like this quilt? Um, how how long into elementary? I'm out of touch with some of that. So if you have a clue who you who you think would enjoy this quilt, just let me know in the comments.